I have over a thousand hours of playtime on Dauntless, which is enough to know at least a little bit about the game, so here's what you should know. I'm going to be going over 7 crucial steps that every Dauntless player should follow to not only maximize your efficiency, but to also have the best experience on Dauntless. Now each of these tips will rely on each other, so I'd recommend you maybe save the video, make notes on the points I give, or just try to keep them in mind while you play. Without further ado, let's get on to the first step, which is... So you want to deal as much damage as possible, or at least just try to kill behemoths pretty easily. Well how do you expect to do that if you don't spend your resources wisely? There are some weapons or pieces of armor that are objectively better than others. Like for example take the Koshai weapons. They have a built in perk that increases your damage by 50% for the next few attacks after you don't attack for 4 seconds. I don't know about you but that sounds a lot better than say healing for 50 HP. And this isn't just the case for weapons. You should be looking for pieces of armor that not only have good perks like built in pulse or cunning or predator for example, but keep in mind that you want their self slot to be optimal as well. Like the Malkarnon's grasp has predator and a finesse self slot which makes it a much better option than say Charog's Volcanic Grips which give Rage and an Insight cell slot. You get what I mean? You need to allocate your materials to the equipment that you can make the most use out of. Parts that you see yourself using in a ton of builds throughout your Dauntless experience. Builds aren't the only part of Dauntless you should focus on. You need to unlock the right things on Slayer's Path. Things that increase your damage and survivability, rather than something that helps you only in a very specific part of the game. I'm currently making a video on what you should and shouldn't get in Slayer's Path, where I'll talk about this more in depth, but for now I'll tell you guys that I personally wouldn't get the Stamina, Bulwark, Life Drain, or Insight Tonics, or any of the pylons except for maybe the Inspiring Pylon to increase your damage, but I would focus more on getting weapon mods and specials since they benefit you a lot more than tonics and things like that. Now sort of looping back to equipment, so you've got great armor and a strong weapon, but there's something missing. Cells. Cells are the backbone of all builds. They are what tie the whole build together, but how do you get them? In Hunting Grounds, a variety of island events can occur every once in a while, and you get 3-4 to four cell cores per event. This means you get 12-16 to 16 cells on average, and after about an hour of grinding, you can expect to get upwards of about 60 cells, and you can level up a fair amount while doing this too. I would swap between different islands while doing this so you can get a ton of materials while grinding. You've gathered all these cells but you can't tell the good from the bad. Fear not because I created a list of the cells worth keeping and the ones you should just recycle. Now keep in mind the ones I recommend you recycle are sometimes used in very specific builds, but there are better options out there. Also another mistake that I see a ton of people make is they get 3 or 4 or even more cells at plus 3 which is completely useless as you only need 2 plus 3 cells ever and there's no point in having more than that. So you might as well just recycle them or you can go to the middleman and combine a plus 3 cell with 2000 rams and it will become a random cell of the same type. Bounties are a great way to level up in Dauntless, but many players utilize them very wrong. I see people all the time getting bounties and upgrading them as much as they can, then redeeming them while their weapon is at like level 7, and this is wrong on so many levels. Let me tell you why. First of all, upgrading bounties is a really dumb decision because two bronze bounties give 500 XP, whereas upgrading from bronze to silver, which also costs two bounty tokens, gives 450 XP, so you lose 50 XP. And it's even worse going from silver to gold because you lose 200 XP. The second mistake is claiming your bounties early. It might make you level up faster while at lower level, but it's more worth it in higher levels so you don't have to fight as much high level behemoths to get to level 20, since you can just get the XP from bounties mainly. When I started out on Dauntless, I didn't watch much Dauntless YouTubers, so I was kinda stuck making really bad builds, not really improving or knowing what to do to improve, but I started watching a couple build videos and my brain subconsciously picked up that info and helped me get better at the game and understand what should be in a build and what shouldn't, and I advise you to do the same. Because Dauntless has a great community with tons of people trying to help you, who've made basically every build you can ever think of or need. Now I'm not just trying to get extra views off you guys, but go maybe check out my videos, maybe some other creators, I mean there's thousands of YouTubers out there just waiting for you, so go check them out, have some fun and show some love. Okay, so you've made it this far, you've got the best armor, weapons, strategies, you're equipped with knowledge, and now it's your turn. You should try to make your own builds, even if they're very similar to other builds out there. I recommend you follow this plan when making a build. First, you want to have an idea for what you want your build to do. Do you want insane damage per second? Do you want to get the largest hit possible? Do you want to do damage while not worrying about survival? Then you want to do some research. Use your knowledge to get the most optimal cells in your build, and make sure you're making the most out of your limited cell slots. The most important part of learning to make builds is trial and error. Try out your freshly made build, see if you like it, see what you could improve, and get some inspiration from other people if you need it. With those 7 points covered, you should be able to progress quickly and the most important thing is that you enjoy it. Just like how I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it helped. Let me know if I missed anything and I'll see you guys next time.